pain that would run up my neck and down my spine and down my leg. And um, it was like a burning sensation. It would, it would tingle at night when I, I couldn't get any sleep. I was always sick. I mean, something, I was icing, I was on painkillers. I mean, I was getting injections and therapy. And I mean, I'd been to like seven different doctors and they told me you're, you have to live with it. And I was 16 years old at the time. So that was kind of a, kind of a depressing state. I looked at the MRI. And what I discovered on the MRI was something that we don't commonly see, which is, the which is the reason we don't normally order MRIs for problems like this. But I saw that some of the cutaneous nerves that were coming from her spinal cord going out to the skin, the nerves that are responsible for sensation in her upper back, were being compressed. I could see exactly where they were being compressed on the MRI. We went to the operating room. Sure enough, I found the nerves that were being compressed. There was evidence of neuromas, which are scars within the nerves themselves, and so we removed the neuromas. I'm, I'm a totally different person. I mean, I'm not cranky at night. I actually can play sports, you know, I can actually relax. And even my parents say you're a different person. You're just, you're so much more. You know, you're active, you're not waking up at night, you're not complaining of pain, and you're just a different personality. She's gotten her life back, and she's out there doing the things that a young lady her age should be doing. She hasn't allowed pain to get in her way, and we've been able to help her achieve the things that she wanted to achieve, because she can live, on, she can live her life now pain-free.